feel like I'm channeling my inner Chandler. beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel my name is josephine if you've never seen this face before very very welcome if this is your first video i hope that you enjoy it maybe become part of my youtube fam regulars welcome back i'm so happy to have you here i did promise an h&m try and haul this will be an h&m try and haul a rather large box and uh, yeah i've already had a little bit of a sneak peek because you know why do you know what let me just Okay, uh, but we've got a little bit of everything um, new in stuff from H&M. A lot of home stuff because I am determined to get this house done, decorated, so that I can do a house tour. Either way, get your snacks, get a cup of tea, get comfy, and uh, let's get to it. So I'm actually going to start with something that I've been talking about. I did a trend for Autumn Winter 2020 video, and I spoke about the vests, the slipovers, the pullovers, I don't know, the, these things. This was the only one that they had and I was like, do you know what, I need to try it on and see what I feel about the trend, how I'm gonna work around it and all that. And yeah, this is a very, very big vest. Oh my goodness, look at that, that is so cute. This is the way I would style it, What? how I think I would style it. Just, you know, collar clashing a little bit with a cold slash neutral um, shirt and then more of a warm vest. But actually now having a look around, I don't know, I'm thinking maybe I should get it in a, a vest in a blue color or maybe black color. This was 199 Swedish kroners. I reckon that's about 17.99 maybe. So I'm gonna pop this one on and see what it looks like on. Okay, so it actually looks a lot like a school uniform. Um, that's basically the entire look, I guess. So I get that a lot of people don't like it. I feel like I'm channeling my inner Chandler. So for those of you who don't, don't watch Friends. Yeah, so um, I'm basically, I'm more of a Monica today, but I'm a mix with those two. And definitely growing up, I was such a Chandler. I made jokes, kept people at a distance. I am loving this trend. I really, really am loving it. One thing that I do, like, you know, how would I style it when it's cream white? That's my concern. This will probably be going back. But I did saw another one online on H&M that's black, that I absolutely loved. I think it's gonna be black. But then again, like, feel free to jump at me in the comments. Um, I know this is not to everyone's taste, but I love it. All right, I think I actually forgot to tell you that I got that one in a an extra small. Next up, I saw this white blouse that I absolutely don't need, uh, but it was just so cute I couldn't resist it. So I've actually already tried this one on, that's why it's untied in the back. But it has got a, an open back, and that's what you know makes me want to return it. But it's a white puff sleeved top. There we go. Same as the vest. It was 199 Swedish kroner, so I'm guessing 17 pounds. And it's got a tie in the back and uh, big puffy sleeves. Quite short, quite cropped, great if you're gonna wear it high waist. This is just not something that I need. With it being open back, it's such a summery top that I don't, you know, it's more of a spring type of top. And I'm obviously looking for autumn things. I don't know why I didn't realize there was an open back, but uh, yeah, either way, I'm going to pop it on so that you can see it. So this is it on. Um, it's, again, an extra small, just as the previous one. Um, this is such typical my body. Um, it's very, very loose around the chest area. And, you know, long sleeves, of course, because I'm only five foot three. I don't know if my waist is situated in a weird place or what it is but yeah with tops like this it's just a, oh it might be that short but then again i have a long torso yeah i don't know what it is but you can see that it doesn't look too good i think that if you're taller than i am sorry there's the back excuse my bra strap uh if you're taller than i am i think it's gonna look great and don't get me wrong i could definitely have made this work but it's not something that i need I've got a thousand, maybe 25 white blouses in my wardrobe, 
already. So yeah, I definitely don't need this. Um, but it's cute. It's an all right top. I'm gonna say that. But look at those puffy sleeves. My goodness, that's so cute. Okay, let's dive in, see what more we have. I don't know why, but now for autumn, I've suddenly come into a smart period, sort of, I guess it's the vest trend. I actually don't know. But um, these are a, it says regular waist slacks, but I'm gonna pop them on in a minute so that you can see that these are actually high-waisted. Uh, but I'm not complaining, because actually when I put the order in and I read that it was a regular waist, I was like, looks high-waisted on the model, but, I because I literally I can't wear regular waist but yeah it's just this one is very basic and just a smart trouser some of the stitchings have like loose threads and it's faulty either way again 199 Swedish kronos I don't know I was on a spree of 199 Swedish kronos so again 15 17 pounds I don't know the exact amount but uh yeah I'm gonna pop them on so that you guys can see what they look like on. Right, these are them on. Excuse my feet if you think that's creepy. These are in a size 30, European 34 for extra small. So they're quite tight, obviously, because I'm still carrying a little bit of quarantine weight. So, um, yeah, that's why they're this tight. But I love them. I love the style of them. I love the color. I think they're gorgeous. Um, this is definitely an office outfit that I would rock if I worked in an office. Um, so yeah, I can highly recommend them, very comfy, um, really easy styled, and uh, yeah, you can do a lot with them. And like I said, um, yes, it's sort of regular waist, but then again, I mean, it's quite high. So it's almost like a low high waist, if you know what I mean. But yeah, these are them on. Okay, next up is also something that, you know, contributes to my smart dressing journey. Um, it's just this basic, very finely knitted top. It's in an extra small. It's very, very vanilla colour. Um, so this is 99 Swedish kronos, which is only like £10, £9, £8, depending, like I said, I don't know, but it's around there somewhere. And yeah, it's really, really lovely quality. It's very soft, it's very nice, it's very, very basic. Um, but it's also a bit boring. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm gonna try it on and see what I think about it. Okay, so here's the top on. Yeah, I am definitely not gonna keep it. There's nothing wrong with it, really. It's just that uh, it's not something that I need. I need, I'm not gonna make use of it. It's just very, very plain and basic. It's a great basic though, for those who work in an office, need something easy just to throw on and they just wanna be comfortable because it is really, really comfortable. It's in a viscose blend. I just, I'm not gonna use it, I know that. So, I mean, if it had a turtleneck or a higher neck, I probably would have loved it because that's more unique, personal and more of an actual style, whereas this is just basic. Um, but yeah, like I said again, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just that I know that I'm not going to use it because it's just very, very basic. And it's not a basic that I need or that I look for at the moment. Okay, next up, you actually, I think you remember this. I said, maybe in my last video or something like that, that I'm really excited enough for autumn to be more active, to move, and you know, just don't be as much of a sloth as I was this spring. I feel like everyone was. But I'm really, really excited to, you know, get back to working out, go for long walks and just be active because your body just feels so good that way. And, you know, I don't like the feeling of feeling weak. I like feeling strong. <laughs> These ones uh, I picked up. It's a really, really gorgeous legging, tight. Yeah. Um, extra small again. And I do believe that they were 199 Swedish kronos. It feels like everything is 199. So um yeah 15 17 pounds something like that let's try them on and see what they look like well, I, I i can definitely style this with the seamless set that i bought in my previous h&m haul uh with the top that's gonna look so gorgeous okay so these are them on hopefully you can see sort of you can definitely see them cow legged <laughs> um but yeah they're just very just stretchy comfortable um definitely comes normal in size a very nice workout they are very very comfortable very stretchy and literally feels like i could be wearing nothing it is so so comfortable really 
Um, and yeah, it's, you know, it's a cute detail and all that. So, big thumbs up for these ones. Keeping them. Next up, we have something that, you know, I typically wouldn't pick this one up because I would be like, it's basic. And, it, well, yeah, I would be like that. It was, it's basic. <laughs> but, I feel like this, I'm going to do a Pinterest video with me like prepping for autumn and creating a board of why I want my autumn 2020 fashion and outfits to be like and what inspires me. So, um, this was just a basic dress, uh, black one, viscose blend, it's very stretchy, very soft, has got a turtleneck. I feel like I want to wear more basic outfits that are comfy because since I work from home, you know, who am I dressing up for? I'm dressing up for myself, which is nice and all that, but yeah, at the end of the day, we all just want to be comfy, but then I would look, I would want to look representable. So I think that this is like the perfect dress for that. And it's also very affordable. So I can't remember that exactly. Could have been 199. It's 149, there we go. So yeah, around 11, 12 pounds maybe. And it's a midi length. Uh, and it has got a three-quarter length sleeve and yeah, it's just gorgeous I'm gonna pop it on for you guys so you can see what it looks like on but it's so so comfy. It's so so comfy Okay, so this is the dress on it is so so comfy and Yeah, I mean it's black basic turtleneck dress. You can't go wrong, right? And it's so affordable. So I absolutely love this one Um, one thing that I may not be too comfortable with is the fact that it um you know, enhances my curves and my female body. Um, and you know, naturally, I'm not the most like girly girl who would bring out her curves and all that, but but I, I don't know. I feel like maybe I should embrace that. I feel like this is, yeah. I just feel like this just challenged me a bit in being more comfortable with my body and you know, wearing tight things. Um, also, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, I think you can see. It's a very, very small slit at the bottom, but it's really, really gorgeous. And uh, yeah, I love it. And it's really, really comfortable as well. And easy styled. All right, so let's move on to the home bit that I picked up. This first one is a mango wooden shelf. It's a picture frame shelf or whatever you call it picture list apparently because it says so in the bottom it's gorgeous but i was gonna have it in the office but then i realized that this shade of brown didn't go in the office it just looked very very plasticky and i think it's too much of a warm to orange brown whereas i would like to have more of a neutral one other than that i mean i'm gonna have a look around the house see if i can find somewhere where i want to put it because i absolutely love it i love the design the style i love the look of it so yeah like i said i'm gonna have a look around see if i can find somewhere that i can put it um because again it was 199 so it's currently super super affordable i'm actually gonna double check that because but i do remember it was that cheap totally luck yeah yeah man 199 swedish kronos um and it's absolutely gorgeous i think the width is 80 centimeters wide so yeah if i find somewhere to put it and make it nice i'm gonna put it there now these next two items that i'm gonna show you i'm so excited about um i saw these wooden plant pots i got two of them this is in mango wood it's quite a small one i'm not gonna lie so gonna have to find a plant to put that one in and that one was 129 swedish kronos so about 10 pounds not too much and especially not for it being made in mango wood and all it's not entirely in wood 100 percent wood i actually love that the other one that I got, that is 149 Swiss Kronos, it's this one, and uh, it's actually also mango wood. I had no idea about that, but yeah, apparently it is. And these go so well together, so I put them on my window seal for the minute, or for the moment. Um, I was originally gonna put them in my office. There's gonna be like an office reveal because I'm obviously doing things around the house and all that. But yeah, now that I put them in the window seal, I feel like maybe, maybe I wanna keep them there. Uh, but either way, I love these so, so much. I have not put plants in them yet because 
I need to decide what plants I want them then. But they're absolutely gorgeous. And like I said, what's this? £10 and like 13 £12, something like that. And they're absolutely gorgeous. They're so, so gorgeous. I absolutely love them. Then I also picked up two new towels for the bathroom. And it's these. They're like waffle towels or whatever you call this. Yeah, this, this style. They're really cheap. Uh, 60 kroners each and that's about four or five pounds uh, I think it just looks so like designer-esque look yeah I've got two of them we only have two hooks so they're gonna go in there and uh, they're beige super super nice I also imagine that when you dry your hands into this one it's more nice and soft and of course I actually wanted to get the entire set of this and uh, not the entire set but the bath towel and the yeah, the towel, the hand towel. They also have guest towels, but I don't need that because they're so small. And uh, like I said, I only had two hooks. But the towels were sold out. So I settled for just the bath towels, but look at this. Okay, it's not huge, it's actually average size, but um, I love the design, I love that it's so, so dark navy. It fits so well in our bathroom. Like, if you've seen my bathroom, the washing um, like cabinet, it is, in really really dark navy it's almost this color and um then it's marble and brass theme so it's just it it goes together so so well and i'm gonna have a look out for the towel ones uh, like the normal towels uh because i want the entire set let me tell you how much they were because i think that they were so 149 swedish kroners uh which again is like 12 13 pounds and they're so so soft they're in uh, organic cotton uh, so yeah i got two of those because it's just me and leo in the house and the two is more than enough so yeah then i also picked up a, um, a two uh marble knobs door knobs or handles um i was originally gonna have them for my for our pax wardrobes but to be completely honest with you i don't i don't know but I just don't adore the look of them. They are really, really nice. They've got brass. Here, I'll show you. They've got brass detailing. Uh, they're round, marble like that. They were really affordable. I think they were like five, six pounds each, um, which I think is great for marble handle. But I don't know. Maybe I'll... no. I think that they're too soft for me if you know what i mean when it comes to interior i like more edgy not edgy but oh i don't know how to describe it but do you know what i mean that this is a little bit soft more to the romantic side uh more feminine i would say that i like more masculine more i i think what i need what i want is big brass handles that are like this tall actually so i'm going to be sending these back um but yeah i still wanted to show you guys because i do love the design and if you are on the lookout for a doorknob or knobs maybe for your kitchen or something like that these are really really nice quality and they're really they're gorgeous actually they are gorgeous I just got second thoughts on them so and plus i showed them to like my best friend i showed them to leo and everyone's just been like, yeah, they're nice. But that's just it. And I want things that I like. That's what you're going to get. That's so your style and all that. Um, if that makes sense, I don't know. Okay, so that was it for my H&M try and haul and H&M home haul. Hope that you enjoyed it. And um, hope you didn't mind that I incorporated a little bit of home bits in there. Because that is, you know, now that we do have our own little space and house you find things on the side that you want to you know decorate and upgrade your home with so if you haven't already please hit the subscribe button join the fam if you did enjoy this video and like to see more videos like this one make sure to hit the subs uh the thumbs up button because i always check my thumbs up and like my likes and dislikes so if you want to see more videos like this click the thumbs up button and uh yeah i think that was it if no one's talking to today i love you i think you're amazing and i will catch you guys next time love you bye